What's up everybody, it's LogicBomb82 from the Minecraft Union. Today we're going to show you how to set up a dedicated Conan Exile server. This is to host on a machine that you're not playing on, hence the name dedicated. So this video will not work if you're trying to host and play on the same machine, unfortunately. That's actually built into the game. You can actually do that from inside the game. So here we go. So first things first, go to my website, minecraftunion.com. There's a couple files here we're going to download to make your life a little bit easier. So if you see where it says Conan Exile Server Files, go ahead and click on that. It's going to take you to my Dropbox account. And you're going to download these .bats. So just hit the download button. Hit OK. And that's good to go. Now before you close your browser though, go ahead and go to Google or whatever your main search, search engine is and type in Steam CMD. This is if you don't already have this installed. If you already have Steam CMD installed, you don't need to do this step, but if not, click on this, click on the Windows tab, and click on this download link right here. This is gonna download it for you, hit save. All right, so now we have our files that we need downloaded. So if you see here, I've downloaded a couple times doing different videos, but um, first things first, you wanna install the Steam CMD. So right click on it, hit extract all, and extract it into its own folder. I always recommend doing it on your C drive and putting it in its own its own little folder, which I have. Let me show it to you. It's called Steam CMD right here. So I recommend making a new folder on your C drive and call it Steam CMD or something that you want, and then hit OK and extract those files. Next thing you want to do that for the Conan file we just downloaded. That's from my server. You want to extract those. Just put those on the desktop for now. That's fine. Or your downloads. It doesn't really matter. Just extract them somewhere where you know where they're at. I like to put them on my desktop to find it. All right. Now you can close all this. And here's the files. Here's the Conan files. So what you want to do, the very first thing, launch your Steam CMD folder, which is on your C drive or wherever you put it. And then you should have a file called steamcmd.exe. It's probably the only file you have if you're a first time installer. Run it. It's going to download all the Steam files. It's going to take it a little bit and it'll fill up your folder. That's what you want. Then just hit exit. Perfect. Now you want to go to the files that you download from my website, the conan.zip, and you'll see there's two .bat files. You want to grab the one that says serverupdater.bat and hit copy. And you want to paste that in the Steam CMD folder where your Steam CMD exe is. So right click and go paste. I've already done it. Let me show you what that file is doing for you. If you go to edit, I always recommend Notepad++. You can use regular Notepad, whatever you prefer. So what this does is it launches Steam CMD, it logs in anonymous, and then it does an app update for the Conan server. So this will automatically update your server for you. And then it closes the window. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to double click on it. It may pop up a window and ask you if you want to run this. Just click yes. Um, you can put a little check mark in that box that says you don't want that to pop up again if you want, which is what I did. So as you can see, it logged in already anonymously, and now it's downloading the updated files for the Conan server. If this is the very first time you ran it, it could take a while because there's a lot of files there, and that's fine. Just let it, let it, let it go until it's done. While it's downloading, though, if you don't already have ports open, you need to open a couple ports on your server. So you need to open them on the firewall or the router, or whatever you have that could block the ports potentially. You need to open port 7777, which is the game port. That's how people connect. And you need to open port 27015. That's a server browser, so it'll show up in the server browser. Um, you, they both need to be open for UDP, but I open them usually with both UDP and TCP just to be safe. If you're not sure how to forward a port on your router, I recommend Googling your router model number along with port forwarding, and hopefully you'll find the results you need to help you get that done. Okay, so once you, got all, you have all that done, you should go into Steam Apps, Common, and you should have a file here called Conan Exiles Dedicated Server. If you do not, for some reason it didn't download, so go back and retrace your steps. Go in there, and then this is where you're going to put the second dot bat we made. So if you go back to your folder where you extracted the uh, Conan server.bat, you want to copy that and paste that into this folder right here. And let me show you what it's doing. So this is going to start the actual server. You will not have this max player field in there. You don't have to have it. The default is 40 if you don't change it. If you want to limit the amount of players on your server, add this dash max players equals whatever number. And then hit file save. And go ahead and launch the server. It's going to take it a while to run if it's the first time you've ran it because it creates the world 
and adds a bunch of files. So be patient, it could take anywhere between you know 30 seconds to 10 minutes, depending on how fast your server's running, what kind of hard drive you're running off of, the amount of RAM you have, and all those things. So let that let that go. And once it's done, you haven't seen any text move in a while, it's probably finished its setup. And then you can click on click on the window and then hit control C. And as you can see, it's shutting down right now. This is the proper way to shut down your server. There you go. And now if you go up to Conan Sandbox, saved, config, Windows Server. This is this is all the files it just made. If you if you didn't see any of that, for some reason your server didn't start properly and it didn't make its own world, so you have some kind of other issues. I'm gonna cover a, I'm gonna do a video after this that's gonna help troubleshoot uh, problems. So if you run into that, look fast forward to the end of this video and I'll have a link to the troubleshooting video. But anyways, let's get going here. First thing you need to edit is the game to INI. Nope, wrong one. Apologies. The engine to INI go edit and you just need to add one thing here at the very bottom under the online subsystems add a server name equals whatever you want your server name to be so you have to add that field in there and then hit file save and close that out and then you need to go down to server settings ini down here and you're gonna add a couple things to this so pay attention here you need to add PVP enabled equals false if you want it to be a PVE server you need to do that if you want a PVP server, you don't have to add this. But this right here will make it a PVE server. So if that's what you want to do, you need to do that. The second thing you need to add is admin password. This will allow you to log in as an admin. So you need to add this field and then put in your password right here. Look, mine's just four X's. Okay, next thing you might want to change is the nudity setting. Zero is no nudity, one's partial, and two is full nudity. And the, the server community down here, um, there's five different settings you can set it at or six different settings excuse me you can set it at zero which is um, just straight up PvP you can set it to one which is PvP purist two which is PvP relaxed three is hardcore four is role-playing and five is experimental so that's the different kind of settings you can have for your servers telling people what you know what what the how the server is expected to play Okay, now we're going to scroll down. You got to pay attention so you don't pass a couple things here, which I probably will do. But down here, server region should be the next thing that you can change. Um, zero is Europe, one is North America, and two is Asia. That's just telling people where the server is located. Um, if you if you want to change like XP rates, harvest rates, all that stuff, it's on up here at the player thing here. So most of mine are set for two times. So this is going to give give you two times the multiplayer for XP and for harvesting. You can adjust this however you want. I think the max is five, maybe, unless they've changed it. But you can go anywhere from you know 0 0.001 to five if you want, depending on however you want your server set. There's a lot of other settings in here you can change. You can restrict PvP time if you want only combat to be during night, or I mean at night or a weekday or weeknight. You can come down here and you'll find server password. This is where you set a password for your server. Mine's MCU. If my server's up and running, anybody's welcome to join. Jump on in. Um, but there's a lot of settings here. You just have to kind of look through them and try to figure out what they are and if you want them on or not. Uh, down here at the very, very bottom, there is region locks. So if you want to lock your server to not allow a certain region in, you just would change these true to falses. And there's a message of the day up here too. I passed it right here. That's another popular one people change the server message of the day if you want to put that in there. So once you have all these set to the way that you want, just go up and hit File Save. And now you are ready to launch your server with all your settings. So just go back to your, oops, to your Conan server start.bat that we made and double click on it. And you should be good to go. Okay, so you wanna make yourself an admin, you have to find your server first, so click Play Online. Here's my server. It shows up as top, be mostly because it, you know, it realizes that it's it's a uh, land to me. But there's my server that I made. If you're having issues and you can't find it from here, definitely try a, the name search and then also try a direct connection with your IP address and see if either of those are able to connect. But anyways, double click on this. We're gonna hit join and I'm gonna show you how to make yourself an admin on your server. Now that we have the admin password set, you just need to log in. You're gonna hit ex uh, escape and go down to settings and then server settings over here. 
And then right here where it says make me an admin, click on that and it's going to prompt you for the password. So you just put in whatever password you, you put up in your server password, hit OK. Mine didn't work because I didn't use caps. It is cap sensitive. And then you see where it says admin rights granted right there. That means it's it worked. And now you can change all your settings. And that's how you do that. All right, everybody, I hope this has helped you and you were able to get your own server up and running. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comments section, and I will try to help you out the best that I can. And again, the video for the additional troubleshooting will be linked right here. You should be seeing it popped up. Click that and look at those steps and see if that can help you get your server going as well. Thanks for watching. Please do me a giant favor. Hit that subscribe and follow button and help me grow the community. Have a great day, everybody.